All right. Here is the magic. Uh, back here with Andrew Fisher on Deep In State. Andrew is running Soul Splits, and they are doing some pretty rad stuff with one of the fundamental problems with Helium, which is if you are splitting a, uh, a location with a host or you're an investor or whatever, there has never been a really easy way to do this. So, Andrew, first off, welcome. Welcome back to uh, yeah, the show. Thanks, man. I can't wait. Yeah. I think last time we were talking about this, it was uh, in its infancy. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm stoked to see it come in fruition. It's been super cool. So, I mean, you've had a long journey in Helium. You've been around for a, for a while. You had this problem earlier and you're a software guy. So you're like, oh, I think I can solve this. Yeah. Um, walk yeah, me through so, maybe the evolution of it. Yeah. I mean, it, it came one of those things of, uh, you know, as a deployer, we were deploying a lot. Uh, the logistics behind, you, you come up with this idea. You're like, I'm going to deploy these Helium hotspots. I'm going to make a bunch of money. I'm going to, you know, put them up. I'm going to start a company. I'm going to do all this stuff. Um, and then you realize like all the small nitty gritty things that happen with it. So, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> paying people out, you know, doing taxes with, you know, uh, giving people 1099s, giving them all these yep. different, it, it's just, a, it's a lot of logistics that go into it. And especially when you have, you know, many, many hotspots, it becomes pretty overwhelming. Um, and on yeah. top of that, we also thought of it from a, a, a standpoint of if it's difficult for you to do that with one network, then stacking these types of solutions on these different locations and, and putting different, you know, providing different services, that's going to exponentially, you know, compound that problem for every single yep. network that you put on top. So yep. we thought, all right, with, you know, them coming over to Solana now, we have smart contracts, so we're, you know, able to automate some of the stuff. So let's figure out a, you know, kind of a cool way to do that. So that was kind of like the initial um, start on it. But then we started coming up with a few other things that we think are going to be really cool. Yeah. And, and you've been into Solana for a while. Like you kind of get it and see, okay, this is what this thing can unlock. It's more than just another blockchain. Yeah. I've been into, I've been into blockchain in general, in general, just, you know, Ethereum and, and Polygon and all that. I've, you know, I've understood those. Um, Solana was a little bit of a, um, it was a little bit of a, a hurdle, but I have, you know, some developers that have been doing it for a lot longer than I. So, uh, I let them take, you know, that, um, a lot of the contract work, but, this, yep. you know, I, I saw the potential there and what it could do, especially with the, you know, the low fees, the, you know, the speed of the network. So um, Dude, it's crazy, huh? Like, yeah. it, it's funny because it shouldn't make that big of a difference. But doing any transaction on Helium now is like, oh, well, it's actually <laughs> like it works, you know, almost, yeah. almost instantly. It's a second or two. So Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, deal. that that really enables us to do what we're trying to do. So um, cool. Yeah. Well, let's walk through it, too. This is all about updates. What's uh, what's the latest in Soul Splits? Yeah, so um, we're about to come out with, um, we're about to actually release it in the next day to some friends and family to get it tested out, get, get a little feedback. We're starting to onboard some developers or onboard okay. some deployers this week as well. Um, but yeah, we've gotten, it's 90% there. There's a few things here with UI uh, that, mm -hmm. you know, are getting fixed up, but Always, um, yeah. I'll walk through the, the platform kind of like how, how it works. Um mm -hmm. Essentially, all you do is you sign in with your wallet. So you just, you know, click a connect button at the top. It'll bring you into the platform. This one's already been set up with a few things. Um, one being this vault here. Um, you yep. can and set this is up just, a vault. Uh, Soul Splits XYZ, right? Yeah, Soul Splits at XYZ. We'll have a okay. we'll have a little enter app button at the top in the next couple of days okay. for people to jump on. Um, cool. But uh, yeah, if you go into the app. Um, you have, it's basically two parts, two main parts. It's the vault and it's the splits. Um, and so we'll take the splits, um, as the first one, just to kind of show how that works. Um, so we are loading up. I've got a lot on here, a lot of test splits. Um, basically you start by clicking create split and we'll do one for, we'll do one for, uh, Nick. So we're going to say, this is from Nick, Nick Hawks, right? Um, yep. it'll update with all your information over here on the side. So, you know, exactly, you know, who's getting it. Um, you'll have a wallet address. Let's say this is me. I'm going to take 40% because I think Nick deserves a lot more. Uh, I'm going to add myself as a recipient. Uh, and then, you know, I can either go into my address book where I actually save contacts and have yep. people in here, or I can actually jump another split into here and use that as my as my second recipient. So you can actually stack these on top of each other. So they go from one split to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, and just keep going infinitely if you'd huh. like to. So imagine it, the use case for that we thought of is like, you know, a lot of people would take on investment, right? They took on outside people that, uh, you know, say they had an investor group. So 
Um, yep. Let's say I've got this one here was my investor group, right? Um, and I put them in. Um, actually, that's a one person split. Hold on one second. Let me get something better in here. Yeah, the recipient for 50%. Um, so if you look inside here, you'll see that the people inside of it have 20% and 80%, right? So okay. let's say those are my investors. One guy put in 20%, one guy put in 80%, but they're guaranteed 50% of whatever I make. So yep. now once I stake a hotspot into here, 50% of what that hotspot makes gets split up automatically to those two individuals. Um, I can then put, you know, Nick right here, let's say this is you, um, you see it starts populating with all the different information and then we'll put in, I'm going to put in the same exact address, but let's just imagine that it's a different one. So sure. you've got it up to a hundred percent. It won't let yep. you do it unless it's at a hundred percent. And then you say, all right, cool. I want to, you know, stake one of my NFTs. So go on to your hotspots, shows you all the different NFTs that you have. Um, you take one of them choose if it's an automatic payment or if it's a manual. And so we do two pricing models. One's automatic. Automatic is, is a one and a half percent fee, right? Very lower than a credit card rate. Um, yep. The thing is though, you won't have to pay any fees on Solana with that. We are doing all of the splits, all of the transactions for all of those. So that's all included. So you won't have to come in here and manually do anything. Um, and then you can choose daily, weekly, or monthly. So you, whatever schedule you want it on. If I want it monthly, I can come in here, choose my payout day. And then one cool thing that we added as well is some deployers didn't want to uh, have the fees distributed to their customers, right? They said, you know, we owe them this percentage. We don't want them to have to pay our, our yep. rates. So you yep. can choose a, a wallet that's responsible for those fees as well. So you can say, cool, I want to take on all the fees from the site. I don't want to have my guys pay any of these platform fees. And all you do is you create split. And so it's going to wait oh, for the transaction rad. confirmation here. Um, I, oh, it says I do not have enough soul in this account. <laughs> so let's okay. see, let's, uh, let's get back see, over. Um, but okay. basically me, it'll create it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. While you're while you're sorting that out, let me ask you a question. So this is awesome. This is kind of what I think all of us wanted for the last two years, and it's it's super cool to see it coming in now. I know there's other folks out there who are doing similar things, and I think one of the really cool things in this community is that, uh, in general, we all tend to work together. So uh, the other folks out there, it sounds like you might be doing some uh, interoperability work with them, which is which is really cool. Can this go back in time, like you know, from the time that we were all doing the manual splits on mobile when nobody knew how many whatever mobile tokens or radio is making. It's like, Hey, I think I owe you a hundred thousand. Like, I'm just going to send it over now. So you've got it. Can I go back and say like, Hey, I did this all manually before. Can you start it from this date and split it this way? Or is it not? not yeah. Right so yet? I can, so like, I can't, so you could do a couple things, right? Um, mm -hmm. There's, we don't have the historical data. So we're looking at this as kind of something like, you know, from this point on, we're going to claim everything out, figure out what happened yep. before. And then from now on, I just wanted to do it on this schedule because the historical cool. stuff, you know, that's, that's more, you know, hot spotty speed or relay or one of, you know, one of these other um, yeah. guys. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. but the cool thing is, is if you do know those numbers, you can set up those splits. These splits do not need a, um, an NFT associated. So you can have, hmm. you can have them on, um, without any NFT and it'll still split whatever tokens are sent to that address. So you can put any token, whether that be Solana, that would be any SPL token, you can send them to these addresses and they'll split them out the same exact way. So you can oh, use it cool. for a multitude of use cases. It doesn't, doesn't have to be Helium. If you want to take your Hive Mapper fleet and you know start sending your rewards to, through there, you can send those through there. They'll split the hive mapper up. So it'll it'll Holy smokes. Oh, this is like a anything. much bigger deal than I thought. Okay. Oh right. no, anything. Anything you want. So um basically like once you have the split set up, um, you can see here, we can go into this uh the split screen. <laughs> You'll see some expletives in here. I just found out I went to that other account. Um, I get angry uh at, at my code sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I get it. But get it. if you look in here, that. you have either receiving, you have owned, or you have all. Right. So okay. any of them that I own come in here um, and we can open it up and see all the information on like what what is currently in the split. This one has, you know, point to Solana in it. I don't have an NFT staked. I have 
payment mode is manual, so I can, you know, uh, modify it. I can change the people on it. Um, I can, you know, rename it. Um, if I want to choose an NFT, oh, I don't have any NFTs on this account, <laughs> but you just choose the NFT and stake it into it. You can yep. do all of that at any time um, and it will automatically split it out. And then we also have this whole section with the contacts that I was saying um, where you can add, you know, add different people into these contacts. Um, yep. We're going to, you'll be able to select multiple and add them all to a split for easy access. Um, so that's super, super Dang, cool. this is rad. All right. I'm going to go, I'm going to go figure out how to sign up for this. Cause I got this, <laughs> I got, this will solve one of my problems. So awesome. <laughs> and so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it on, on the splits, except for, I, I guess the one thing that is, uh, you know, we didn't really touch on is, is we can do something really cool for people that have a lot of hotspots or they have really complex systems or they have like, you know, just a bunch of data in their own database of all their stuff. Um, you know, we had a system set up so that we wanted to make it as easy as possible for people to migrate um, because that was one of the big issues for us. Um, and so we have this uh, JSON, you know, template that we have created and apologize for this because uh, right now it's, uh, it's not completely styled up. Uh, that's getting done today, but sure. you can do. Um, but for any really nerd cool. worth their salt, they'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, let me see. Sample export. Let me find this again. Yeah. So you basically take the sample export. Um, yep. It's in JSON format and you would just come over here to bulk upload. What you can do is you can actually either choose it by the Helium ECC key. You can put people's Helium wallet addresses into it. You can put their Solana wallet address. You can put the NFT address. It doesn't matter. It's pretty agnostic to what you have, the information that you have. But whatever it is, um, all you do is you take that JSON file and drag it in. And we create every single one of your splits automatically. Uh, this, is a, this is around 100 of them. It'll show you all the information on every single split, um, You know what the different payouts are. Uh, whether it's auto, monthly. Um, and then at the end, you just have to create splits. And so what that will do is that will sign all of the transactions um, at once. It'll run through them. And if any of them fail, it'll recursively you know, ask to retry. And once you're yep. finished, uh, you might have to retry a couple of times because Solana transactions sure. do occasionally fail. But um, yeah, you just got to sort some stuff out for sure. Yeah, then it's it's done. And you've got everything in your system, which is super Rad. cool. Um, super cool. So that's splits. What's the yeah. vault thing? So the vault thing, so we figured, you know, there was another issue with um, that we were trying to solve with Helium before is that, you know, whenever we were taking micropayments throughout the entire year, I think you probably know as just as well as I do is earning at the beginning of the year when everything was great at $55 or so um, and earning the most tokens at that time and then dropping down, there's a lot of people that were left with a hefty tax bill, right? You're, you yep. have all of this stuff come in. So... For us, we looked at it as, you know, yeah, exactly. Let me sell off all of my earnings uh, just to pay my taxes. Um, yep. So we looked at it as, okay, well, you know, what are the current rules on it? Um, and it all had to do with, you know, taking, taking, um, uh, you take your tax hit when you're, when you're doing transactions with your wallet. If you have a smart contract, it's sitting out, you know, on something. It's not really being taxed at the time because it's not technically, you know, like in your possession. So what we did is we created this vault. And so this is a smart contract that you sign for. There's nobody else with keys to it. We don't have keys to it. It's out there. It's basically created by you. It creates this template um, where your account signs for it. And then you can deposit tokens into it. And so it's staying, it's still in a smart contract at this time. Um, and then you can choose when you want to take that tax hit. So you don't have to have everything just bulk dumped into your wallet all at once. You can say, cool, hmm. I'm just going to leave it on the platform until I want to take it. And then when you want to take it, you say, cool, I want to take this amount or I want to take this little bit or I want to take that. Um, you can deposit into it if you'd like to. Um, you can, uh, like if you wanted to deposit, it'll just pop up, you know, QR code and send cash into there. Um, but then on top of that, what we're building in is integrations with Jupiter, um, as well as we have an off-ramp service. So um, we have this company called CoinFlow that's going to be providing our off-ramp. You'll be able to click on your CoinFlow and connect it directly to your bank account. So you'll be able to take your vault and just say, cool, here's how much I want to send. I'm going to send you know, Solana, or I'm going to send Helium, or I'm going to send whatever I want. I want to do it instantly to my bank account, and it's going to cost me 50 cents. And it'll be there Dang. in 15 minutes. 
That's so, crazy. So That's you'll be able bananas. to do that. It'll automatically swap everything. Um, and then you take your tax hit, right? So like different things yep. like that, um, as well as being able to trade the tokens in your vault straight for, you know, um, through Jupiter Where and, and swap you know. them before you before you take it. Now, is is there a disclaimer that goes with this? Like, hey, this is not tax advice. Do you and research yes. all that yes, stuff? Yes, of or course. You... This is not tax advice, and and I, you know, these claims, like, you know, this is what I believe at the moment. I we're having our lawyers do all that legal stuff to yeah. make sure that we're yep. actually, you know, hundred percent on. But as we as we see it at the moment, yes, it is. So not tax advice, not legal advice, but um, yeah, it's, it's cool just an tool. option. It's a tool you can use yep. it. You, you don't have to use it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Very cool, dude. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the update. It's really cool to see what you guys are doing and, and how you're kind of servicing the um, not just the helium ecosystem, but really the, the entire Solana ecosystem. That's a that's yeah, a good man. It, you know, it's it's going to be really cool. We we have some more cool stuff that we're we're going to be building in. We've got some smart messaging stuff through dialect. That's going to be you're going to be able to create uh, messaging pla like pathways between hosts and deployer straight through the system um, just by going to your split. And you know, if you have a host that's having an issue, they can say go into their soul splits, which they'd see all of their receiving stuff and say, Hey, I'm having an issue with this. And it would, you would get the message on yours, right? Like I'm changing your like split. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like different, different, really cool, uh, things, automatic, like payout, uh, alerts that'll go to SMS or email for your hosts. So, um, yeah, lots of cool stuff still coming, but, uh, we're stoked just to get to this point and get it out. Rad. Super rad. Thanks for sharing, man. We will uh, have to have you back on when we got the next update. But uh, Andrew Fisher, soulsplits.xyz, go check it out. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Yeah. Ciao, ciao.